Hi, I'm back. It is Thursday, and I'm so glad to see all of you. Wait, I can't see you, can I? I'm so glad you can see all of me. Wait, I'm so glad all of you can see me. Hi, it's my show! Song of the Week is... It's Quinn's Quiz Show I know you think I'm great On Quinn's Quiz Show I'll make your day more gay Hi everybody, um, I'm Quinn and this is my Quiz Show I'm so glad that you're back for episode 4 Woo woo! Hi, I'm back from vacation. Um, man, it was so nice to go up north with baby daddy and just relax. My phone was off. It was warm. Oh my God, the people up north are so friendly. We stayed in Charlevoix and then we went up to Petoskey for a day and then we came back to Charlevoix and then we went to Bel Air. Petoskey has the coolest freaking place ever. They have this um, brewery called Beards. And it was so cool. Like, you first walk in, and it's, like, this small, like, alley-looking thing. And it's sort of kind of freaky because it's like, where are we going? Who's going to kill us? But then you walk in. It's this really cool place. They have this games on one side. And we play this game called What the Fuck. And it's like, you ask a question, and you have to guess. And if the person gets it right, they take a drink. But if you play it against them, you get it wrong. You take a drink. Let's just say she was drunk. Look at my new t-shirt. And it cute. It's my little... My little baseball tee. Show my little tattoo. Ain't it cute? Like, this week's episode is going to be another top numeric thing. I seem to do better at coming up with ideas and, and reaching to you guys with like the top seven things I hate to the top ten things that make me awesome, blah, blah, blah. So, I decided to do the top five things that annoy me about having a job. We all know that you have to work, right? Look at my cute little phone case. It's a giraffe. <laughs> we all know that one person has to work, right? And the only way to work, the only reason to work is to make money, to pay bills, so forth, so forth, so forth. Number five. Going in after having three days off. It is so hard to get back in a groove when you just got to relax and not do anything. And they want you to do all these duties. And they throw out, hey, this is what you missed for the past three days all on your shoulders. You're like, I don't care. I had the day off. Let me hate Monday because it's Monday instead of making me hate the world because you and Monday. Before having to pretend like you actually like people. It is so hard working in customer service and pretending like you actually enjoy being around people when you only like the people you decide to be friends with and then everybody else gets on your nerves. Oh my God, that happened yesterday. That happened Monday. I think that happens to me every day of the week when I clock in. It's so funny because I enjoy my coworkers and the people I work with, but outside of that, people can kick rocks. People that talk to you all halfway and then you gotta be like, Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix your problems. When you want to be like, let me tell you. But I like my job some of the time, so I gotta, <laughs> I gotta be nice all the time, you know, to keep that money coming. Number three, never getting paid enough for all the hard work you do. Let me tell you, if I didn't come to work, a lot of stuff wouldn't get done at any job that I've ever had. I was raised by awesome people. My grandma, my mom, my grandfather, all those people have instilled into me to work hard regardless. 
Don't care about Tom. Don't care about Susie. Don't care about Tanya. Don't care about Becky. You worry about you and you get your coins and you work your butt off because at the end of the day, it's only going to be you to take care of you. But you never get paid enough for it. And that is just like just. I need about like a $40 raise. <laughs> Number two, working with the hangover. Now let me explain. When you had your best two best friends come over on a Sunday night just to have a couple um, couple glasses of beer and maybe a couple glasses of wine, depending on what you got the money for at that time, and then it turned up until like a Sunday fun day at 9.45 p.m., and you go for little adventures into random libraries and people's basements. That was fun, by the way. And then you wake up that morning, Monday, and you're like, oh, my goodness, my head feels like it's been smashed with two solid bricks, and I'm sitting out here in the summer in the heat, and I got to suffer with no water with this banging headache. That is never fun, because you got to go to work, you got to be like, okay, yes, people, let's get this done. Let's do these fun things, and let's get this stuff where it belongs. But your head going like this. Number one, my biggest thing about any job, Calling me in on my only day off. No, I don't want to come in. But you know I ain't going to say no. So you call me because you know I'm going to say yes. Ooh, let me tell you. My granny gave me permission to the next time I see a work number to just not answer the phone. That's real shading. But I work really, really hard and I work every day. And, like, I give myself that one day off in the middle of the week to relax and, and to talk to you guys and to hang out with my cats that are surrounding me and rubbing all on me and stuff because I was gone for four days. And that's why I took the day off, to relax and to be calm because I don't get every weekend off. I get every other weekend off. And then the weekends I do work, I'll go to work at 7 a.m. Or I'm, like, traveling with baby daddy. So, like, whoo. Now, you guys don't forget to subscribe that little red button right there and don't forget to like my facebook and don't forget to follow me on twitter and don't forget my pictures from my vacation on my instagram i love you bye y'all I'll make your day more gay.